Hello, this is Tofman Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can make crown molding in any architectural setup in Blender uh, by using the profiler add-on. It's for Blender 3.4 and upwards. I'm using Blender 4.0 myself for this tutorial. And for the price, it's not too bad. Uh, it's got a lot of options, a lot of um, uh, presets that you can use for architectural crown molding uh, for your building architectural needs. Um, so once you've, I'm going to put it below this video so you can download yourselves and check it out. But the installation process is still the same process. Go to edit, preferences, make sure you're in the add-ons uh, portion of this window. Uh, click on install navigate to where you've downloaded onto your system click on that zip file don't unzip but just click on it and click on install add-on and once you've done that let me type in profiler uh, put check in the box and it's ready to go and it's on the right hand side of the UI which is the toolbar right here let me click on it. it's got like at least 60 to 70 two-dimensional uh, profiles for crown molding. These are presets that you can use. Uh, so you don't have to use it or make uh, presets or profiles yourself. You can just use these and then there are lots. So you have a lot to uh, work with. Uh, what we're going to do now is that we're going to delete this cube here. So with the cube selected, uh, press delete on keyboard, let's press shift A and click on plane. And once we've got the plane, we have to convert it to a curve first. So click on convert to curve. And then we'll stick with the first profile and click on apply profile. And we look at it, it just adds that crown molding uh, fairly easily to your model. And the good thing about this add-on is that it still stays as a curve. You can still add textures to this, which I'll show you guys later how to add texture to this curve. It's not a mesh, so it'll save time when it comes to rendering, which is cool. It has all these options here. Uh, the alignments on all the axis, X, Y, and Z. Uh, you can change the profile dimensions also. You can click here, make the um, crown molding a little bit wider on the X axis. Also on the Y axis, uh, you can change the offsets by clicking there, it shrinks it. Uh, change the offset on the z-axis by moving it up and down. That's what this option does. This parameter does moves up and down. Let's really move it. Uh, you can flip it minus 90 degrees or add 90 degrees to it. Mirror it on the x and y. You can increase the smoothness on all of the dimensions on the uh, on the uh, curve there. And it does, like I said before, it doesn't. Uh, Pretty much a lot of wear and tear on your processing for your computer because it's just a curve which is good and like i said before if you want to change your profile um change the presets of the crown molding just click in there choose any you want click on there and apply profile and it'll change it and it is a really great job of just applying that preset to the curve now to add texture to it usually in blender you can't add uh, textures to curves but with this you can uh, let's go down to this option, this tab. Let's click on that tab there and click on new. We're going to change our viewport so we can see the textures being applied to our uh, crown molding. Uh, left click on that uh, icon there, which is just going to change our uh, view of our profile here. And we're going to change it from EV to cycles. And if your computer is strong enough, uh, you can change it from CPU to GPU. Let's change our world settings by clicking on that icon there. Turn it from gray to like a lighter bluish color. And we have our crown molding still selected. Let's left click on the material tab. And you can change the color here if you want to to red, you know, blue or whatever you want on the color wheel. But if you want to add a texture to it, let's divide our window. Let's hover our mouse over this corner here. Left click and drag to divide that up. Minimize this by hovering your mouse over this uh, panel here. Left click and drag to our right here to minimize that. Do the same thing on this side. Left click and drag. And we're going to change this to the shader editor. Left click on that icon there. 
go to shade editor I'm gonna left click and drag once again to minimize that scroll up with our mouse wheel so we're gonna zoom in on what we're seeing here and we're going to click on that and left click on that and delete it and we're going to press click on that option there and then press control T now if you press control T and these so the notes do not come up I have to go to edit preferences um, let's clear that out left click in there and then type in node and put a check in the box where it says node wrangler because that's going to bring up uh, these nodes that you need to add textures automatically automatic setup for adding textures to your models and since this is now UV unwrapped we're just going to left click and drag from let's scroll up a little bit more from generated to vector and to move around in this one here hold down your middle mouse button just move your mouse around and then move up move around the uh, set of nodes here or the window itself uh, let's click on open and I'm going to navigate to where I've downloaded textures onto my computer which is blended textures I made a folder for that left click on that and I'm going to just click on any texture just for an example I'm going to left click on asphalt damaged open image and there you go it applies that texture to our crown molding and you can make adjustments to the textures you know just basically in blender uh, the first thing I always do when it comes to uh, applying textures to a boxed shaped um, model is I go to this parameter here left, left click on that turn from flat to box that helps a lot and I usually turn it from point to texture and just make this smaller like point to enter click in there point to enter and then you have a very nicely laid out texture on your crown molding and that's today's blender quick tip the easy to use profiler to add crown molding to any scene architectural scene interior or exterior for blender and it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to use and I hope uh, you guys you know have picked up some tips from uh, this tutorial and thank you guys for watching and remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.